All right, so this pod guy here. I'm going to show you the inside of this uh, Bofung Mini T1. Um, I'm having issues with it powering on. Here's the battery that comes with it. It has a super duper small plug on it. So, anyway, if I can get this open here. I just put lotion on my hands and now it's not that not a good idea I'm trying to tear this apart. Alright, so with the back off, you got four screws here. One here, 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 and there. We're gonna take these off because I took this apart the other day. And I noticed something that could possibly cause my problem because it don't want to come on. And if you sit here and play with the little white connector that the battery plugs in, sometimes you're lucky enough to get it to work. Now, if you plug it right into USB, the micro USB, it fires right up and works fine. Which I guess would be fine for uh, just receiving and not transmitting anything. So, with that being said, let me switch out to a, a straight here. I can grab anything. So we can take it apart. It's pretty easy to get apart once you get a grip on it. <clears throat> All right, so it comes out from the bottom and you gotta watch because of the speaker wire and the antenna. The speaker wire, you know, you got there, it's connected. Get that out of the way. But, the thing is that I noticed is if you see these two little solder joints right here, that is the same spot as the white connector. And if you look real close, I mean, they almost look like they're touching. So, I don't know. I tried to real easy, like with a really small, small screwdriver, like for, for eyeglasses, to see if there was any solder in between there somehow, even though it worked before. But, I just figured I'd show this because might be something to watch out for if you do have battery problems that this here might be the reason because it gets plugged in to that so we could take this uh, thing apart here once a get my Phillips here now I didn't take this off so I don't know what we're in for but we'll find out there's only one way to learn the good thing is it's not like you're out a lot of money when it comes to this all right so Here's the connector that we're talking about. I mean, it, it moves, but it seems pretty steady, sturdy, I mean. But uh, anyway, let me back up here. And there's what we have. 
So, and right there is your battery connector that plugs in the battery plugs into your little antenna LED. Alright, thanks for watching.